Good morning. Coffee is brewed. We are ready to park our cup. Um, and I figured since I am vlogging today doing a coffee chat, we'll try the new creamer that I got because no pros didn't have my southern butter pecan. So, so I thought, well, we will try the, the new flavor. It's been out for a while. Uh, caramel waffle cookie, and we'll just yeah taste test it. I'm sure it'll be good. Can't go wrong with their creamers. They're all pretty good. So the last one I tried that was new was the one I started with M. I can't pronounce it for the life of me. <laughs> it was okay, but um, it wasn't something like I would get all the time. Like, like creamers like this, that's what like, you get once in a while for a treat. Um, or you get it when they don't have your original go-to creamer. If you're having a morning cup of coffee or tea, cheers. Here's a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend. Let's uh, taste test and see how um, how this holds up. <laughs> yeah, it's how, how, how are we going to rate it? <laughs> Not bad. You have a little hint of caramel flavor. Um... But it's okay, you know, I don't think it's one I would go by. Um, yeah. It's just, it's okay. There's like really nothing special to it. But then again, I do hold the bar very high. <laughs> I do. Yes, I, ha I have high expectations when it comes to International Delight creamers. Especially because Southern Butter Pecan is like number one, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh. It's okay, but yeah, I don't think I would buy it. Buy it again, no. But it's okay, and it will do when you don't have your, like I said, to go creamer, you know. All right, I'm gonna make some pancakes because I got blueberries, and that's what's gonna be on Saturday's brekkie menu: blueberry pancakes, which sound delish. All right, we have the pancake batter all mixed up, blueberries, got my pan heating up, and of course, most important part is coffee. We're ready to make some blueberry pancakes. Pancake number one. Pancake number two. And these blueberries are really good. And they're plump. Like, look at the size of that one. That's a, a huge, huge blueberry. That's like five blueberries in one. <laughs> it's been a long, long time since we had blueberry pancakes. It's been a nice Saturday morning treat. Heat a bit, we're ready to go. Yes, is that big enough for you? Yeah, almost but as big as your head. Are you killing the blueberries? Yeah, I did. I did. You're cooking, you cooking the blueberries alive. Yeah, I'm cooking the blueberries alive. <laughs> First one flip, no problem. This one is giving me issues. Oh, there's always one. Yeah, that just doesn't want to flip. Usually it's the first one. But in this case, it was the second one. But we're still able to salvage it. It may, may not be pretty looking, but it'll still be a tasty pancake. Nice, nice and sweet. 
Okay. I wish blueberries would go on sale. Well, I don't think they were on sale price. They were three ninety nine, but but uh, usually they'll, they're a lot more than that. I wish they were that price or maybe a little bit cheaper. Yeah, more often. Okay, so I'll probably take care of these two. I'm gonna make myself just one. Usually I just eat one. Um, I'm going to do all of this and whatever we don't eat, I'm gonna put in the freezer. Yeah. Or I might do muffin bites, uh, I mean pancake, pancake bites in the mini tin. I might do that. I haven't done that for a long time. When you bake them in the oven. That'd be a good idea. Okay, we're looking pretty good. And then I grab the syrup and a plate and uh, plate this up. All right, pancake, two pancakes that is for Casey and a mango slice, which he likes. So that's his Saturday morning brekkie. And my pancake had a baby. I flipped it over and I flipped it like a little bit too hard. And some of it just yeah, did that. So. <laughs> Alright, so I came outside just to have a little bit of a chit chat with you guys. And I wanted to show you my ear warmer that I crocheted. Um, I think I finished it a couple weeks ago and I forgot, kept forgetting to show you guys. So I figured while I'm doing a coffee chat, make brekkie with me kind of video, I'll show you. Um, and I want to see what it was like outside. And it's pretty nice out. It's not too bad. It's like, you know, a little bit chilly, but it's like kind of like a stay. You just need like a hoodie or a light jacket. I hear you, but I don't see you. Oh, there you are behind me. <laughs> you want some coffee? <laughs> for your flight <laughs> uh, yeah so yeah of course now like I finished it and it's not cold because like this kind of weather I don't I don't feel a need to wear it because it's not that cold for an ear warmer but if we had the weather we had like three weeks ago <laughs> you know yeah two or three weeks ago like yeah around that time frame um this definitely would have come in handy yeah especially when when I went for a walk by the river and I took pictures yeah this definitely would have come in handy but I was almost done and then um if you remember I had to grab another um ball of yarn at Dollarama and I was happy to find the same color because I wasn't sure because you never know um you know like if you're gonna find, especially at Dollarama, right? Cause like, I, know, cause I wasn't sure if I grabbed the last one or not. Um, but I was lucky to find the same color. And I only needed, like I almost had enough for the whole thing. I only needed enough yarn for a row and a half. And that was it, that was it. You know, I, I was this close to having enough yarn. Uh, but yeah, it's super cute. I love it. I'm not a hat person. Um, I, I'll wear ball hats, ball caps, you know, baseball hats. Um, but like winter hats, they're just not my thing. I'll wear them if I have to. But I think because, you know, I always have my hair up, you know, usually in a clip or it's up somehow. You know, a hat just gets in the way. Um, and it's just much more doable with the ear warmer. So now I am working on Casey's hat because he wanted me to make a hat. Henry wants me to make a hat. Um, and I'm pretty sure the hubby wants me to make one, but that probably won't, you know, won't happen until like, because <laughs> we're already in February. Um, I'm almost done Casey's hat. Yeah, it's, it's like, okay, you start crocheting, and like, I haven't crocheted in like 20 plus, plus years, but it was easy to remember. It's like riding a bike, you don't forget. Um, there were like a stitch, there was, there was a stitch I had to like YouTube and just familiar myself with it, and it was easy. You know, and just practice, and it was like, okay, I got it. And then it, was, it was just like riding a bike, you know, you just don't forget. But yeah, everybody wants something done. So if I do a hat for the hubby, it probably won't be till like next season. Um, yeah, but I'll finish Casey's in time where he'll be able to wear it. I'm halfway done his, and I'll show you guys when I go inside. 
Oh my God, it's, it's like I take a number, I take a number, you know, I'll get to you when I get to you. Um, but yeah, <laughs> but I, and I just, I, I like crocheting because I'm like, you know, I'll crochet in the morning, I'll crochet at night in the evening, you know, and it's just, it's relaxing to crochet. And Casey wants to learn how to crochet, so I've been teaching him to crochet. So yeah, <laughs> And uh, cause he sees me crocheting and he wants to crochet. I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll teach, I'll teach you. My grandma taught me how to knit a crochet. Um, and let me tell you, <laughs> it is very hard. Yeah, cause it's so easy, right? So easy to me, because you know I've been doing it for so many years since I was a teenager. Um, but when you teach somebody, it's a whole different ball game. It really is. It says. Um, it's just, yeah, because <laughs> it, it, it took him a while to catch on, of course. Um, so, like, right now he's practicing um, chaining. And once he gets that down and he gets, like, used to holding the crochet, you know, the needle one hand and then how, like, you wrap the yarn around your fingers because, like, this hand kind of controls the tightness of the yarn, you know, or how loose you want it. And... You know, but it's just like teaching him. It's like, oh my gosh, this is like, it's kind of, you no know, frustrating, right? Um, but <laughs> I was like sitting there and I was thinking, how the heck did my grandma teach me both to crochet and knit? How does she have the patience? She had the patience of a saint because, oh my gosh, I do not have the patience of a saint. <laughs> you know, <laughs> because it's just, yeah, it's just like really, you know, but... But he's doing pretty good. He is doing good. Um, he practices every every day. So maybe one day he will be crocheting me a hat, snow hat, but maybe a headpiece. And this was really easy to do. I just found a, a pattern on Pinterest, and maybe he'll crochet me a scarf. <laughs> you know, but I just I love it. He wants to learn. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and it's really easy. This didn't take take long once you get it down and. You get your groove, you know, you get your ear in your groove, and yeah, it's just, it's really fun. Mm. Yeah, oh. and I'm matching, see, matchy, matchy, <laughs> matchy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, the boys are watching Henry Danger right now. It's a superhero show, it's a cute show. Um, there's also Danger Force. That was after that show, because Henry Henry Danger was off for five years, and I think Danger Force is still on. It's a cute show. The main character's name is Henry, <laughs> and Captain Cap Captain Leon. Oh uh, yeah, so they're watching that. They've been watching having a marathon. So it's a cute show. It's one of those shows if you have to sit and watch with them, you don't mind. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of nice to get some fresh air. Just seeing the sun come out. Yeah, you need to come out more. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I had to go grab my Dollarama tripod to give my arms a break um, while we finish up this coffee um, outside. I never thought I would be having coffee chat uh, or like a, a short one anyways outside in the beginning of February, but here we are, we'll take it, yep, yeah, <laughs> I'm not complaining, no, I, I like it, I just never thought I'd be doing this, <laughs> yeah, the coffee's almost gone though, so, so rude, somebody keeps drinking it, <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I am really impressed with the tripod from Dollarama, five bucks, um, like I said, the only thing you can do with it is, like, make a short or TikTok with your phone facing up and down, um, it has to be facing sideways because it, it gets a little bit top heavy and the tripod is, it's light and it will tipsy tur turvy, you know, go that way. <laughs> yeah, fall over, complunk. Um, yeah, but um, I used it when I was making the pancakes. Yeah, cooking on a stove for the first time and I liked it. Yeah, and it's really easy to just adjust, adjust your angle. Yeah, um, yeah, so I'm quite impressed with it. I'm glad I picked it up and I'm glad our dollar grandma had it. They had lots, they had lots. Oh, yeah, and last night, scrolling on social media right before bed, I saw that Carl Weathers passed, passed away. And it's like, what? Like, he was only 76. He passed away in his sleep. 
he was in Mandalorian, which I loved him in Mandalorian. Um, he was so good in that role, so talented. And he played in the Rocky movies, and he played um, Happy Gilmore. He played Chubb, seeing you know, how the alligator ate his hand. Oh my gosh. Oh uh, yeah, such a great actor. He just passed away in his sleep, and it's like, what happened? Like, was it a heart attack? Was it a stroke? You know, I I, just, I, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, it was just um yeah sad. Twenty twenty four claimed its first first celebrity. Yeah. Really sad. <sighs> yeah, he was he was such a good actor. Yeah. Yeah. Darn you, 2024, like, oh, yeah. Ugh. I'll be missed. Yeah, and, um, the Barbie movie. I've been wanting to talk about this. I have, I, um, <laughs> the Barbie movie got nominated for 11 Oscar awards, okay? And everybody was getting their knickers in a twist because Margot... Robbie Margot didn't get a nomination for support, not not supporting um best actress. Um, Ryan, why I, I want to say Ryan uh, every time I want to Ryan Reynolds, not Ryan Reynolds, wrong Ryan, <laughs> Ryan Gosling. They're both Canadian, but <laughs> I know. But I, Ryan Reynolds just always comes out. I think because I see more, I see more of Ryan Reynolds on social media than I do Gosling. Um, so Ryan Gosling. He got nominated for, I think, Best Supporting Actor. And America, what's her last name? Fer Ferreira, I think. You know, she played um, in Ugly Betty and she played in Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. I like her. She's a fabulous actress. Um, she was in it. She got nominated, but everybody was upset that Robbie, Margot, you know, Margot, she did not get nominated. Margot Robbie. Um, and there were guys, yeah throwing a fit, throwing a fit that she did not get nominated, like, <laughs> I was like, okay, settle down, settle down, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, <clears throat> just settle, settle down. Now, I was surprised that it got nominated for 11 Academy Awards, because I thought if I did get nominated by chance, it would be for, like, best costume design, best music, and maybe one or two other boring categories that we always forget about because you don't remember them until they announce it. <laughs> you know, I don't remember every category. I know all of them are boring. <laughs> you know? So yeah, people were like in, you know, in an in uproar and you know, it's a man's world and it's like, you know what, just sit down and think about it for a second. Um, comedy movies get overlooked a lot by the Academy because the Academy, you know, looks for certain type of movies to nominate. You know, usually it has to be like a serious drama, um, a tearjerker. Usually somebody has to die. You know, like that's what they're looking for. Um, serious movies. And this is a, a comedy. And like it, it got nominated for 11. Um, Ryan Gosling got nominated for Best Supporting Actor. And America, um, America, what's her last name, Ferreira, I probably said that wrong, but you know, she played everybody and Sister Heather Travel Pants, love her, she's fabulous, she got nominated for Best Supporting Actress, and can we just be thankful, you know, for the ones who did get nominated, <laughs> you know, uh, and I don't know if, if she's been nominated before, America, I don't know. But, you know, and I, I was, like, watching um, a TikTok by David Spade, and he put it really good. He put it really good where he said that it is really easy to get into that category, um, best supporting, okay? But it's really hard to get into the best actor and actress category because the competition is tough. And when you look at who's nominated for best actress, um... A few of them I don't recognize, but Annette Benning is one, and Emma Stone is also one. And there's like three other ones. I don't, I don't know who they are. <laughs> but, 
but I recognize Annette Bening and Emma Stone, which are both amazing actress, you know, actresses, and it's like, yeah, that's a tough category, and it's really hard to get a seat, you know, to squeeze in there, like, yeah, and she, and Margot is a fabulous actress, she really is, she's really good, she has proven herself, um, really, really good, so, um, Especially when she played Tanya Harding, like, oh my gosh, she played that role really good. Um, yeah, she she's wonderful. Um, she will no doubt get nominated down the road, you know, because she has lots of other opportunities that are probably going to come her way, no doubt, you know. But it's like, just chill, just chill. <laughs> like, oh no, oh, uh -huh. yeah. I'd just be happy like you know Brian got nominated and America got nominated and you got loving all together that's something to be thankful for you know so don't complain like honestly I, I think that's what a lot of people do these days they just complain like they got to find something to complain about and it's like there's other stuff going on in the world that's more important than this like but mm. uh, yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, she'll, she'll get other opportunities, but she'll get that golden Oscar. Yeah, yeah. I don't even watch anymore, anyways. I just do. I haven't watched in years. Yeah. I just watch for the fashion. And what what was on the beginning of the year? There was an award show. Oh, Global Globes. The Globes. I didn't even know they were on until the next day. I was like, oh, oh okay. Uh, yeah, I just, you know, I don't care about the awards anymore. I don't. I used to watch just for the fashion. To see who who wore what and who was on the worst dress list and did not obviously have a mirror to look at and need to fire their stylist you know and who looked fabulous and knew what they were doing you know um uh but now it's like everything they got too political they when they would give their speeches and it's like yep done you make it political i'm done okay i i i'm done there's i did i don't watch you know, you, you watch these things to escape from reality. You don't want to hear about politics. And they would bring politics into their speech. And it's like, I don't want to hear about it. Just to thank your spouse, whatever, your mom, um, whatever. Your dog, I don't know. <laughs> your hairdresser, I don't know. Just, you know, thank the people who got you where you are. And that's it. Short and sweet. Get off the stage, you know. Just, yeah. <laughs> yeah that, that's why i stopped watching yeah i know it's, it's, it's a turn off yeah that's why i stopped watching supergirl i used to watch supergirl i used to love supergirl and then they got too political towards the end i'm like done well, i'm done watching you get political yeah done i'm <laughs> turning it off <laughs> yeah yeah unfortunately yeah anyways i think that's that's it for today's video i'm gonna go inside uh finish up those pancakes oh i gotta show you before i end the vlog i'll show you keith's hat yes okay so let's go inside i'll show you show you his hat uh you saw my fabulous piece la da da yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> i'll model it um and yeah i don't know what we're gonna do today probably laundry yeah it's always laundry laundry <laughs> Yeah, I and the reno should be starting next week. Um, should be starting. Yeah, again, and we should get it done. I know. I am so over it. I am so tired of looking for clean clothes in a laundry basket, digging through them. It's just, I'm over it. I am so over it. I want everything back to normal. I want my space back. You know, I want my table back to have coffee chats there when the weather is not appropriate. And I want to have my space upstairs so when I need to escape, I could go upstairs and watch, you know, whatever. I'm watching a movie or TV series. Oh, oh we do have a talk with the crown. I finished the crown, so maybe next time we'll talk about the crown. Just remind me. <laughs> I'm watching Young Sheldon right now because Henry and I were watching that. Um, I think it was winter break we were watching that, but I didn't get to watch every single episode. I was watching it in and out with him because uh, I would be busy doing other stuff. Um, but it's like, oh, I'm going to wa watch that and not miss an episode. So I'm watching that right now. Um, yeah, but yeah, we will talk about the, about the crown. <laughs> yeah, it's really good, but this is probably long, long enough. Okay. So let's uh, go show, show, show you Casey's hat.
All right, so here is what I have so far for Casey's hat. I think I just have to do a couple more rows of the red and then I can carry on with the blue. And yeah, it's looking good so far. So I am definitely in my crochet era. I'm having fun. Um, I have half of it done. Um, and yeah, what you do is you just, once you're done, fold it, stitch it up on the side and the top and you have yourself a hat, voila. And I am doing it a couple inches um, bigger than what the pattern says just because his head, he has a big head. So, <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit bigger. <laughs> so I figure I'm going to be able to play on the same side and just do it a couple inches or bigger. But yeah, yeah, I'm happy with the progress and it's uh, so far so good. Halfway there. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Thanks for hanging out with me, having a coffee chat, making blueberry pancakes, which were really, really good. And those those blueberries are sweet and juicy and just, oh, so good. I wish every time I bought blueberries, they were like that. Because sometimes you buy them and they're not so good. So, but well, these ones were mwah, very good. All right, I'll see you next time video. Take care, be blessed, and uh, ta-ta for now. Bye.